Grand Priest Palace. The gathering of angels continues. After the great priest had explained everything that happened in the past celestial war millennia ago, all the angels were impressed. But at that moment in Universe 14, the most powerful angel, the hero of Universe 14, Kai, begins to shake his power and declares that he will help the mother of angels, Zakai, to finish off any enemy, in this case, the great priest. At that moment, one realizes that many different things are already starting to happen. The great priest in his palace notices and smiles, saying, Looks like he made his decision. I really hoped Kai would stay on our side. The only choice he had to make her be on our side or follow the laws of the mother of angels, Zakai. Whis begins to question himself. What are you talking about, my father? Daishin Khan responds. It seems that your brother Kai decided to stay by Zakai's side. I would love for him to be able to hear me and understand the true ideal and true purpose of the angels. Sometimes we can't always do everything we want. There are just rules created so that we can all live. Have you ever thought of mortals turning against angels? Of the levels of hierarchy coming to an end? At first it may seem fairer, but time shows that this becomes real chaos. But I realize that this will all have to be resolved on the basis of violence between the angels. Universe 9's angel Mojito begins to smile. Margarita says, You mean our brother Kai is back? I haven't heard from him since these rumors started. I know that there are very strong warriors, but Kai is a good guy. I'm sure he will still come to our side. Our brother is the strongest in terms of physical strength of the angels. Surely, he will show his true power. At that moment, we starts watching and says, This seems surreal to me. How long has it been since I felt Kai's energy? When we were kids, I had never managed to defeat Kai even once. Even when this celestial war started, we could perceive Cypher's presence, but Kai was distant. It seems like everything was manipulated. Was Kai so happy being the hero of his universe that he just came out to us now? I can't understand it. Beerus watches and says, Well, Whis, let's analyze everything that will happen. I'm sure the powers and energy you're about to develop can cause a major catastrophe in the midst of all this. You know that your power is as high as that of many angels. But still, there is a barrier that interferes with the class and power level of angels. What surprises me is not these angels from other universes, but the gods of destruction. We starts watching and tries to understand what Beerus is trying to say. At that moment, Beerus smiles and says, You should know by now that the real enemy could be very close to all of us. I'm sure he'll want to attack us. At that moment, the High Priest looks and speaks. Very insightful God of Destruction of Universe 7. You analyzed everything in the best way. The angels began to question themselves. The High Priest says, The big problem of Universe 14 is not only the angel who is one of the most powerful in physical strength, but we keep the real problem being Zaki, the God of Destruction of Universe 14 that god who in physical strength surpasses the angels. Everyone is surprised. Who really is Zaki? Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well connected to our entire universe of Z warriors. Let's get back to the point. The meeting of the angels began to be shown with very impressive scenes. At that moment, we were able to see that the power to be raised and shown over the angels could be increasingly catastrophic, but at the same time, we were able to have information about other gods of destruction. The god of destruction, Ziel of Universe 16, who was that god of destruction who can erase any technique of the angels, was until then considered the most powerful god. But at the same time, we now know Zaki, who was the god of destruction who could perform various skills that could defeat any of the angels by levels of strength. After all, who is Zaki? What is Zaki trying to accomplish? 
Moments later, Sawa, the angel of Universe 4, says, It seems that you are very afraid. Be an angel or be a god of destruction. We have a greater numerical advantage. We will definitely get much more powerful. At that instant, the high priest says, You should pay close attention when you talk about it, Sawa. We're just talking about celestial entities. What you need to understand here is that there are many other beings that can show an increasingly powerful ability. You will understand the real power level of the Saiyans who are about to turn against us. Whis interrupts and says, What are you talking about, my father? What do you mean the Saiyans will turn against us? We have the Saiyans from Universe 7 and the Saiyans from Universe 6, which by the way are twin universes and currently everyone lives in peace, including Son Goku was trained by you alongside Gohan and Vegeta a few days ago. Everyone is ready to fight on our side. Beera starts watching and says, So the rumors about the other universes were true. It can't be that. At that moment, the High Priest has a point of reflection and begins to say to everyone, I hope you understand Zaki is the god of destruction of Universe 14 and he can perform several catastrophic techniques, but the big problem when we talk about gods of destruction and angels is because you believe that they would be the only ones who would fight in the celestial war and forget about small factors in all these six universes, there are several powerful races the race of Saiyans also in Universe 18. They were all erased in the last Celestial War and brought back now by Zakai. The Saiyan race, just like in Universe 7 and unlike Universe 6, are extremely powerful. They will definitely decide to attack and will want to show off their powers and skills, as well as beings that have already appeared here to fight. Other more powerful warriors can be shown. Look at it. In Universe 7, we have Goku, that extremely powerful Saiyan. In Universe 17, we have our dear, the Supreme Saiyan who is considered the Supreme God Saiyan. And already in the Universe, we have the entire race of Saiyans and he, the one who is considered the strongest. The God of Supremacy of Saiyan Supremacy. The race of Beerus, the Cats of Destruction are back, wanting to destroy everyone. Frieza's race will most likely be brought back. Several conflicts will be created. Maybe on some enemies, Hakai doesn't work. What are you going to do about it? At that moment, the great priest begins to explain to everyone about the rules and about the other existence of the other beings. In addition to everyone who is fighting in angelic ways and heavenly ways, Yet there are beings that are extremely powerful that possess deadly energy capable of devastating everything in a war. Universe 18 Unknown Planet A voice comes up. Good, looks like tomorrow will be the big day, doesn't it? I'm sure they will all pay for our universe being erased in the past. He was erased and we couldn't even fight. Can you believe it? Another female voice says, Well, you believe. We really have to get stronger every moment. Maybe that means the true essence of our race's Zenkai. With each struggle we go through and each life or death situation, our strength increases more and more. This is really amazing. I'm already very happy. I know that now no one will be able to defeat me. We'll show you what we're capable of. A deeper voice appears. A being with short hair and armor on his body appears. Do you want to get stronger then? Young people, always full of dreams and with enormous potential. This is fascinating, boys. I hope you become stronger and stronger, but this battle is only for those who are already prepared to live and die. This place is my territory and I will teach you in just a moment how you should behave in the war of the strongest. A silhouette and face of a Saiyan appears in Universe 18. To be continued. Alright partner, what do you think? What's going on with that? Right next to the celestial war in other universes, all beings are preparing for the battle. It's not just Goku and the others who have been training. The High Priest already knew about the existence of Zaki and Kai. 
What is the real purpose of the high priest in holding this meeting? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.